Good morning. Just thought I'd make a video real quick on how to get started on envelope budgeting. But I'm just gonna make a coffee here. First, Cafe Verona. This stuff is very good. So, while that gets cooking, let's go over and show you a little bit on how I get started or how I got started with envelope budgeting so I have a, a notebook that I use uh, pretty much every single day to figure out my budget so when you get started it can be overwhelming because sometimes what you end up doing is you have a bunch of cash you don't know where it's going, so you end up uh, not really being able to keep track of it. So before you know it, $5 goes out the window, $10, $15, $20, and before you know it, $50, and at the end of the month you're like, Man, I don't know where all our extra money went feels like we have nothing left so the easiest way to do that I'm going to show you real quick if I can do it with one hand and I'm going to flip my camera around to show you exactly what I do but I'll even show you my journal at the beginning um, I had another notebook but the, then I switched everything over to here so um, let me just flip through it here so let's just go real quick to yeah so this is basically uh, yeah this is it in a nutshell so I'm just gonna flip this camera over one second here there we go so here is basically what I do almost every single day as I flip through all this stuff and I try and keep track of everything as you can see just daily 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 so May so here let's just start from the top here so this is what you want to do keep it real simple so just make out for now four, five, six, six basic envelopes so you know you're going to need groceries you know that you know you're going to need gas and you know you're going to need clothing okay and you're also probably going to spend some money so we call that blow money And you also know that you're going to get a haircut. Eventually. If you don't, well, you can call that maintenance, salon, whatever, nails, whatever you want to call that. Um, if you have a vehicle, you can just say vehicle. And what that is, is just uh, oil maintenance, all this stuff. How come I can't spell vehicle? So that's vehicle and then home. And then entertainment. This is not necessarily in any order. Entertainment slash eating out. I put those in one category. Nine, what else do we have here? Vehicle, home, haircut. I know I'm missing something. Um, let's just keep going here. Eleven and so one of these categories should be your emergency emergency and then what else do we have here I know I'm missing something blue money vehicle home entertainment huh oh vacation you need to save up for holidays there you go and then I also have a category for 
uh, computer you can make it computer slash cell phones whatever but we're saving up for a computer and then there's one more category in here that I can't remember anyways you get the idea these 12 categories basically cover everything that you're gonna need if you make it into you know dental uh, vet grooming washing car contacts glasses like it's it it gets silly you don't you don't need any of this stuff so these are the basic categories that you need right here so oh I know why I have one more I keep my blow money separate from my spouse so blow money blue money her that's important because you don't want to put them in the same thing because it's easier to keep it separate you can do the same thing for a haircut as well you can have another another category for salon for your wife if you want that way you have your haircut money and she has her salon so for her because she gets her nails and hair done and all that it's 50 bucks every paycheck and for me it's 20 bucks I'm cheap I don't need a fancy haircut and then clothing we put about hundred and fifty dollars every paycheck gas I know is a hundred bucks every two weeks groceries we were at five hundred dollars but my son is back now so now it's six hundred dollars and of course he's going to be paying rent so it kind of evens itself out uh, vehicle fifty dollars home fifty dollars entertainment eating out fluctuates but it's usually 250 sometimes it's 200 vacation we like to save about 250 while we we're going to Mexico we were saving five hundred dollars but now we're cutting it back computer fifty dollars Low money, hundred dollars. Emergency, I'd like to put two hundred dollars. It could even be like a hundred dollars a month. So, uh, blow money right here, hundred dollars. So that's based on. You have all your payments, your monthly payments. Monthly payments. So you figure out all. All those payments that are coming out, your rent, your mortgage, utilities, all that kind of stuff. Figure all that out first. And then whatever is left over, divide that up into 12 categories. And that's going to get you through for the next two weeks. And if you find, you know what, gas has gone up. I actually need $120. Well, then you can figure out, you know what. Let's cut this back, clothing to one, 130. It's not a big deal. It's real simple. If you need to cut back a little bit on your blow money, you can change that to eighty dollars. And at, maybe your haircut is a little bit more. It's forty. But the idea is, you know, where all your money is. So that's why you have envelope budgeting. It's not to restrict you. It's just a Tell you where your money is. Sometimes you might take some money and put it into another envelope or whatever, move things around a bit. Ideally, what you want to do is you want to be able to bring this down in two weeks. If, like, you don't have to, but ideally, you bring that down to zero. And then you just know every two weeks this is what it's going to cost. The downside of envelope budgeting is. Uh, exactly what I mentioned is you might think okay I have two hundred and fifty dollars I have to get rid of this in two weeks it's not necessary you don't have to do that you can leave this at 250 and if you don't go out you can either choose you can add more money to it so that next month maybe it's three hundred dollars four hundred dollars whatever that you're spending or you can say you know what we're leaving it at 250 and then the 250 that you're going to put at 
add into that envelope you can take that and put that somewhere else towards your vacation or your computer whatever but this is just a guide so don't get too stressed out about it just a guide that's all it is and then you'll find you can get it right down almost to the penny and if you have extra money that's where you can start <clears throat> knocking down other debts that you have in your monthly payments but that's another story another video so for now I hope that helps it looks a little bit messy a little bit discombobulated but if you start off with 12 envelopes even six just to start uh, you're well on your way to budgeting so there you go there so how was that for a video for a Tuesday morning now I'm gonna go have a cup of coffee